Okay, I have purchased, um, let me put this on fire so you can see, I have purchased these magnets, um, you know, this bike's 30 piece N45 magnet, super strong, uh, off Amazon, I just received them today, um, and by, um, uh, by the way, if you're making any videos about the super strong magnets, be sure to keep them away from your camera. They will mess your camera up, um, you know, causing it to do erratic things like shut down and so forth. Anyway, these are a lot of the magnets that I bought, and they are incredibly strong and a good value. And these are half inch by half inch by one eighth. Now they're <clears throat> basically N45 magnets. You know, which puts them at a little over 1.3 Tesla. In fact, uh, let's see here. You know, if you go to this uh, website here, this uh, K and J Magnetics or whatever, um, there's a little chart there. You can actually look at the various grades. You know, from N35, you know, to N52, and <clears throat> keep in mind. A Tesla is a common unit of measure that's mostly talked about out there. Out there, you know, one Tesla equals about ten thousand Gauss, and this is this chart's actually in kilogauss. So basically, you can just read this instead of it being eleven point seven to eleven point or twelve point one kilogauss. That's actually one point one seven to one point two one Tesla. Okay, so just move your decimal point over once and just ignore the kilo. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, N35 is like one of the weakest grades, and that's a little over one Tesla. N42, you know, uh, which is, I've got several videos on YouTube that are based on my N42 magnets that I actually got off Amazon. Um, you know, which these are three quarter inch by one eighth inch, but they are N42 grade. And so they'd fall into that um, 1.3 to 1.32 Tesla. Um, now these magnets that I just got here, the ones that I just showed you, um, you know, N45s, which is 1.33 to 1.37 Tesla. So, and I also bought, um, these little ring magnets here, which, let me turn the light up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> these little ring magnets here, uh, which I'll go into the specs on that in another review. I just got these in today. These are N38s with a hole in them, so I thought those might be handy for something. Um, nothing specific right now, but uh, those are 1.38 to 1.42 Tesla. And the most powerful grade is N52, and that's only 1.45 to 1.48 Tesla, um, you know, as you can see here. So the fact of the matter is, these N45s that I bought are right in there. I mean, they're pretty powerful little magnets. And like I said, a stack of these things, you know, the, I mean, for the value, I paid like, you know, 12, uh, $12 and something, you know, under 13 bucks for a stack of 30 of these things. And like I said, they're not quite as powerful. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, uh, log jam there. <laughs> magnets love each other. Um, but anyway, you can just see what happened. I mean, these uh, N42s just crashed into these, this stack. And, uh, you know, the N38, you know, uh, joined in on, piled in on top of that, along with the nail it was carrying. Um, these things, you know, are fairly fragile. I have broken, I'll show you, I've broken one of the N42s, and that's it. And if you actually watch my uh, YouTube videos, you know, you'll see, you know, in, in my, um, in fact, I'll take you there, um, you know, this is in Grips Magnets on um, my Robert's Grip YouTube, if you're already there. But at any rate, the fact of the matter is, the Grips Neodymium Magnets Video 1-Basics, you know, that actually covers, you know, some safe handling recommendations and things like that. It really just introduces people to using and, and playing with these magnets. Um, you know, here, I actually, in Video 2, I actually start playing with it you know, a lot more, doing some interesting tricks with them. Here, 
I do something that's just phenomenal. You guys have got to see this. And this is a different take on something you may have already seen before. Um, but this video is really, this video 3 is really worth watching. Um, video 4 is pretty cool too. It's me playing with uh, neodymium magnets, uh, these N42s, the round ones, you know, with a tape eraser. <laughs> um, I did buy also some of these little suckers. Um, and I better get it away from the stack here, but these are N35s that I bought from, uh, actually DigiKey, but, um, because I happen to be placing an order for some electronics parts, so I, I, I noticed they carry neodymium magnets, and just the N35 grades, though. Um, not as good of a deal as you'll find on Amazon, but, you know, still, they weren't too expensive to pick up a few of them, and while I was ordering other stuff, I figured, what the heck. Um, but this is an eighth inch by quarter inch neodymium magnet, let me set it out there. And I, I also bought a stack of the, you know, eighth inch, whoops, you know, um, eighth inch by six, or quarter, quarter inch by sixteenth of an inch magnets too, as you can see there. And I've got some of the uh, eighth inch um, thickness magnets on top of that. So, anyway, these things are, I have, you know, various uses for, you know, for like triggering um, re relays and things like that, um, such as one of these little suckers so <clears throat> anyway um <laughs> the fact of the matter is though um you know these are pretty cool little magnets too and they've got their they've got their uses so <laughs> wow see check that out you know that thing is actually <laughs> you know it's actually on its edge <laughs> i can't get it to sit down <laughs> that's weird let me draw this other stack. See, as I draw this other stack more further and further away from it, see what I'm doing? Wait. <laughs> I mean, there must be something metal. I think there are some, like, you know, something in this table, some some occasional nails or something. But anyway, <laughs> just notice that the thing's on its edge, but it's it's not really moving. See, it's kind of whoops. There it goes. Yeah, it's staying on its edge here. You know, that's that's. Uh oh, <laughs> got my other ones. You know, see, these things are tricky, but, you know, some people say they're extremely fragile. And they are fragile, but but don't get me wrong. I mean, these things are pretty tough. I mean, if you, again, if you go see my videos on YouTube, you'll see the kind of abuse I put them for. They're, they're pretty tough, you know, and, and these are, are no different. I mean, they've snapped together several times. I don't want you to get the impression these are just going to fall apart on you, that they're made out of potato chips or something. They're not. I mean, they're actually pretty, pretty powerful little magnets. I mean, these are encapsulated. In fact, let me show you real quick. Um, so that's the inside of one of the ones that snapped together. That's the actual neodymium, bromium, boride, or whatever the hell they put in there. Um, but this, um, you know, like I said, that's the actual magnet. That's the brittle part. It's, it's, uh, uh probably a ceramic, actually. Um, that's one of the reasons it's so brittle. I mean, all ceramics are brittle, but it's encapsulated in this pretty strong nickel coating. Um, you know, uh, nickel plated coating. Um, so it actually makes them pretty tough. You know, they're not as fragile as people might lead you to believe. But, you know, again, taking some safety precautions is a good idea. And uh, that's still, to this date, the only one I've broken, and I messed around with these quite a bit. But, um,. I'm going to show you some interesting things about this, because I, oh, hell, see, it attacked it. Man, I'm going to have a magnetic mess here. You know, I figured, you know, you, you want to get something like this, you know, um, <clears throat> here, let me see if I can detach these things real quick. Uh, uh, try to get these N42s off first, ah, but you got ah, got to really slide them off. I'll stick them back onto my magnetic light up there. Now let me get these little suckers off here. Um, I'll put those back on the table. But yeah, you know, anyway, I was thinking this little sucker, you know, uh, if you want a piece of exercise equipment for your thumbs, you know, <laughs> this is pretty good because this is pretty tough to do. I mean, you can get a good workout out of that. You can call it the Magnaflex and put it out of the market. Just give me 1% um, since I thought of it. But you know, the fact of the matter is, it's, you know, pretty good. You know, I'll put it back on my magnetic collection up here. <laughs> That's where I keep my magnets right now to keep them out of trouble. But, jeez, look at, look at this. What's going on? I mean, these, uh, you know, it's just trying to get it. 
Jesus, like, you know, because you put these things together, you know, individually these are extremely powerful, but boy, you stack them together, they become super magnets. I mean, that is quite a distance there. I mean, that's actually, uh, I'll try to put it down. Jeez. You know, that's a span of my hand. Um, here, I've got a ruler here, I'll show you. I don't think this has any steel in it. Yeah, it does have some steel in it. Oops. But yeah, the fact of the matter, damn it. Well, hell breaks loose when you mess with these things. Like I said, be, you know, be careful. But again, they're tough. You know, they're not as fragile as some people lead you to believe. But, you know, if you break a couple, I mean, these are, you know, like, uh, like I said, a good value, like 40 some odd cents a piece. I mean, that's not bad. Heck a lot better than these N42s. Oh, hell, I still got that, got that N38 attached to it. Um, I'll go right. Ah, okay, I'll put that in its place. But yeah, <clears throat> you know, you know, better value of these. These are uh, about a buck a piece. Cause I, you know, these are like CMS magnetics, and they're like, uh, you know, they're 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 potent though. But um, you know, but they're still only in 42 grades. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is they're you know about 10, just under 10 bucks for 10 of them. So this is a heck of a lot better of a value. And this is the best magnet for the money I've seen. The best value I've seen on neodymium magnets <clears throat> so far. And now here in a second, I'm going to take you in there and show you, um, you know, what some of these things can do. Um, and I'll. Let me go just take you in there. Excuse the mess, but I'll probably edit all this out. <clears throat> but here, you know, I have some of these. Now this is a power supply I bought from one of my suppliers. This is a little power supply here. Um, it's 9 volt. Small power supply. This is actually heavy because it's old technology, so it's not like the new technology. This has an actual transformer in it, not not just the electronics like the new switching power supplies have. But you know, basically, this one magnet is holding it to my refrigerator, which is dirty, and I'm probably going to clean it and reshoot this. <laughs> but but it's actually holding on there with no trouble at all. In fact, this you know, forget a, a note. This is a whole notebook. And an entire notebook that I've got stuck up there with just one of these magnets. Now I've got another one right here that I'll show you. Because I cannot uh, try to get this sucker off. Um, okay, but if I just put one of these magnets on there, it'll kind of stay, but it'll slide. But see, <laughs> dog darn it. Oh, that lost the magnet. Dog darn it. Get stuck to the refrigerator. It really wants to stay there. Okay. Now let me. You know, really practically have to just slide them off your refrigerator. Now if I put two of them up there, though, that's more than enough strength to hold it. <laughs> so one alone, it'll slide. It'll get out of your out of your control. But two, um, you know, is more than enough to hold this whole notebook up. You know, and this is a small, um, you know, one of those small legal size pads so it's not like a full legal pad but I mean it's it's one of the small ones but still it's a lot of paper and you know again the, the greater the distance the weaker the magnet so again as to whether you need one of these or not just depends on what you're doing with it um, you know but like these little timers here just have regular old ceramic magnets which are good if you're just putting like a piece of paper on your refrigerator you do not need something that's powerful at all in fact, you'll probably regret it. On the other hand, if you wanted to use it like that, my advice would be, if you wanted to put this on the refrigerator, to do like I just did before. Put them that way. Oh, it's getting away from me now. Can't handle just one one magnet. Won't cut it. But it's fine that way. <laughs> like I said, that's up there with some pretty good force. But anyway, if you're going to use them for the refrigerator, that's what's nice about this size, is that it's good, you know, to put something on it like that then it's easy to remove so even though it's a very powerful magnet if you're going to use that magnet use it this way you know for common applications 
Now, again, if you want to go to my YouTube site, you'll see that, you know, if you're a real magnet enthusiast, you know, you'll see some of the other interesting things these magnets can do from an experimenter's standpoint. Um, because I do some, like I said, some pretty cool stuff with these magnets. Um, you know, but there's, there's stuff that anybody could try, though. They're just kind of like educational little uh, science tricks with stuff running around, you know, lying around the house. So, um, anyway, um, the fact of the matter is that, you know, should... You know, the fact of the matter is, that should, <clears throat> you know, the fact of the matter is, that should, you know, um, tell you kind of what you're dealing with with these things. And they're, like I said, pretty useful. And um, these are also, if you're an engineer from an engineering standpoint, these are also amazingly dimensionally accurate. I mean, when they, they say, you know, one half inch by one half inch by one eighth inch, it'll be off by, you know, really a few thousandths, and it's usually under the measurement. So if you're having to do any designs uh, ahead of time, um, like I was doing, um, you know, for my Robo 3D printer there, I was printing some, well, let me get it off fire mode, but on my... Robo 3D printer there, you know, I was printing some, some stuff up that's, um, you know, has these magnets embedded in it. Um, but, you know, I found that, you know, to my uh, delight, these magnets, you know, were certainly a little, just a tiny bit undersized. Um, you know, if you're able to get your steel calipers on them, <laughs> you know, they're, they're just a tiny little bit undersized, so, you know, um, so if you take that into account, you know, I mean, at least they're probably going to fit in what you're thinking you're going to use them for. So I, I was pretty happy with that, that fact. So anyway, the fact of the matter is, though, these are uh, a pretty good purchase. These are a pretty good purchase and um, pretty damn good value. I mean, again, the best magnet for the buck. And, you know, if you really want a magnet that's going to do the trick, you know, you know this is, a, you know, very powerful, at least 1.3 Tesla, um, and in fact above 1.3 Tesla. Um, you know, again, if you want something smaller, a lot of those magnets that don't, you know, on Amazon that don't have ratings could very well be in 35s because they're too ashamed, you know, to call them anything else. Um, since I know a lot of magnet people are, you know, shopping based on in numbers, but my point is, even these are really strong, you know, at over one Tesla, and you know, and you know, and again, you're talking going from, you know, in in thirty fives to in fifty twos, which is the highest, most expensive grade, and these are again in forty fives, and again, they're playing tricks on each other, <laughs> but. Um, it's amazing, you know. I've never actually had a stack of these this big together, so that's that's why I'm actually learning new things as I'm making this video with it. I mean, it's it's really that's that's an unbelievable distance, you know. Let's see what happens under the table. Oh, jeez, you know, now I got it under the table. It's hopping around like some things in my video too. <laughs> But anyway, so, you know, you can have fun, you know, like teasing your cat or something with this. But the fact of the matter is, is that, um, you know, these are a pretty darn good value for, you know, for the price. The best bang for the buck by far, I've seen. Grip assimilation completed, Master.